Once you're working in AWS RDS, many of your tasks are just going to be the same. You're going to have multiple databases on your servers, you're going to have multiple servers, and you're going to want to compare data between one database and another on these sources. The good news is Redgate SQL Data Compare works well with these environments. So let's take a look at it. Let's say we were going to connect up to a database. I've got a particular server ready to go. We're going to connect up to that server. Remember the credentials. And let's pick a database. You can see it's already gone there and listed out my database. And you can tell that it's RDS because it shows the RDS admin database that's there. So we're going to pick Hamshack Radio. Now we can compare it to any of our normal things, scripts, SQL source control, backup, but let's just compare it to another database in this instance. We're going to go to the same machine, make the same comparison, and we're going to compare it to the dev database that we have out there. Now we can go in and look at all the table views. Those are going to take a second to load up because it's going out to the internet to get all that stuff, but you can make the comparisons between the various tables. You can do column mapping, you can do ownership mapping, you can set the options. All of this is going to work exactly the same as it normally does. So let's take a look at the comparison process. Now again, it does take a little longer because what I'm doing is I'm not running it from a VM on my cloud service provider. I am running it locally. So it has to go up and then make that comparison and get come back down. So it takes maybe a little longer than it normally would, but it still doesn't take very long at all. And so you can see that there are 25,000 rows difference between the two. Now if we take uh, expand it out and take a look, sure enough, um, there's 10,000 rows here, 15,000 rows, 50 rows here. In other words, there's a lot of data in this table and no data in this table. And so we can deploy this data. Now, all the other processes have been the same up to this point. And sure enough, this is roughly the same too. The one difference is this backup. Now, if you have not yet enabled AWS RDS to allow for native backups out to, your, um, to the Amazon storage, then this won't work. You will have an issue here. So if we click on Next, um, it's going to have a problem because the backup path doesn't exist and all of the stuff that would normally occur with this is going to happen. But this is a problem with the AWS configuration, not a problem with the functionality of SQL Data Compare. So we're just going to do um, a normal deployment. Um, now we could deploy with a script or we could deploy with Data Compare. Deploying with a script is pretty much the same as always. It's going to generate the script and then you use some mechanism to run that script on your databases in Amazon. But what we're going to do is go with AWS, uh, go with uh, SQL Data Compare. It's going to run it against the AWS RDS, and we'll click on Deploy Now. Just validating that we're going to the right place, and sure enough, we are. And now it's going to add all the rows in. It won't take very long, so this isn't that much data, and AWS is fast. So this is going to load up pretty quickly, and it'll be finished in no time. And there we go. It's going to run a recomparison to validate, in fact, the data now is the same between the two servers. Once again, it'll take a, a second or two longer than normal because it's on the internet. But other than that, the processes are exactly the same as you would expect to see if you're running all this locally. And you could compare it between something on AWS and RDS or between um, a local um, database Pretty much any combination that you can think of will support it and let you move that data between those two databases so that you've got the functionality that you expect out of SQL Data Compare. That's it. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.